In this video, I want to answer a question that I recently received from one of my mastermind members. A shout out to Ying for asking this question. And she asked, how long on average does it take for me to produce a video? My short answer was that it takes 30 minutes to three hours. So I know that's quite a range, but it depends on various factors. And that range that I've given you includes everything. Planning, filming, editing, uploading, scheduling, sharing on social media, and then even updating my various documents for my own personal tracking. So it's not just the filming and the editing, the various stages that make up the entire workflow. My workflow starts with writing down ideas and planning my videos. So whenever I come up with an idea, I'll write that down in my notes app on my Mac or on my iPhone. Then I'll add some more bullet points and sometimes I'll even write down an entire script. So that's the planning and the scripting phase. Then I have the filming stage where I'll set up my camera and I'll film up to five videos in one go. And then I'll take all of that footage, I'll dump it onto my computer and then I'll go into the editing phase. And the editing can be really quick because I've gotten used to the editing, but it depends how fancy I want to get. If I want to add visual overlays like graphics, or if I want to add in B-roll footage, then obviously that's going to lengthen the editing process and it's going to take more time. It also depends how well I shoot the video, if I take multiple takes, if I want to cut out certain sections, that definitely also adds to the editing process. Once I've exported the video, I need to upload it to YouTube, I need to schedule it, I need to write out my descriptions, I need to find my titles. I schedule my content to social media. I use an app called Buffer for that, where I'll schedule it to go out on Facebook and on Twitter. All of these stages obviously take time, but I would say, yeah, roughly 30 minutes to three hours, depending on how smoothly the process goes, how fancy I want to get with editing, how well I present my idea. You know, if I can do it in one take, then obviously the editing is much quicker. For shooting daily videos, I must say that batching my work and I did a separate video where I speak about batching definitely check that out if you're interested in this if it wouldn't have been for the batching and the planning and the scheduling ahead of time I definitely would have failed this daily video challenge because I personally find that if I fall behind schedule I start getting very stressed out I prefer staying ahead of schedule where I can schedule a few videos and I know that they're going to be going out over the next few days the other thing is that if I'm going into a weekend and I know I'm not going to be filming and editing then I obviously need to prepare for that and I need to have my video scheduled. So right now I'm filming a few videos that I can edit and schedule for the upcoming weekend to make sure that I have a video that goes out every day. So the three things that have helped me the most have been the batching, the planning and the scheduling. That's definitely helped me to stay on track with this challenge. But yeah, thanks so much uh, Ying for that question. I love getting questions so if you have any questions put them in the comments below but I really enjoy answering questions. If you like this video give me a thumbs up and um, yeah, wishing you a great day. I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.